In this instructional video, I would like to show you how you can make your own video out of digital pictures that you might have taken and uploaded from your, uh, from your camera or you might have scanned and uploaded on your computer. So the first thing to do is to find actually an application that will allow us to create a video. The application that most people use, which is the simplest and is freely available on every computer, to my knowledge, it's Windows Movie Maker. I found it in my old programs. It may also sit somewhere else, like in the accessories under entertainment, but on my computer, on many computers that I know, is simply under all programs. You go to Windows Movie Maker, you click on it, and it opens this application. Now, because it's a brief <coughs> instru instructional video, <coughs> I will just take you through a couple of very simple steps. On your left, you have here your menu, and one of the items here is import pictures. So we'll import pictures. We'll import them from uh, my documents <coughs> and my pictures. So I click on my pictures. This, this should take me to the folder and to all the files which I have in the my pictures folder. I might open the pictures with my doggy somewhere on the trip. Now, there are certain ways in which you can import the picture. You can click on it, double click or click on it and, and click here on import and you can select them one by one. You can also, to select by one by one, you can just press control button and say I want this one, I want this one, I want this one and you see the control button is continuously pressed. I want this one, I want this one and this one and um, this one and maybe this one. Okay, so that will do it. Press import. Now all these pictures you will see are in um, what's called collections. Now in order to work with these pictures to make them into the movie, now we have to d drag them down to here, where, where to the place where we will be creating our video. So the way to do it is simply press the p first picture, shift button, the last picture, and just drag them all here to this line. And the computer will nicely align them. Now, even if we played the video here, and unfortunately I think that on this particular software which I'm using, I can see the video in the right column, but you may not be able to. But in any case, I can, s I can play the video. As the timeline here moves, I can here in the window see the video. But as you can see, it's ca kind of um, quiet. We don't have any music. So how do we actually import the music? So just like we imported pictures, we will now look for a um, title in the menu which will say to us import music. So right under import pictures we have import audio or music. So we click on it. Now I will go to my videos where, uh, where I actually store my music as well which is probably not the best place. And I might pick something that I actually like. Let's for instance this song. I'll check what it is. You see, when you click on a song, it, um, the cursor opens up a little window and tells you what, this, what, this, what the file is. It's an MP3 file. I'm happy with that. So I'll import it by clicking here, Import. It will take literally a few seconds. There it is. And now look how easy it is to actually add music to your pictures because simply you drag it here and the computer itself places it in the right lane. So you don't even have to know whether the song goes into here, here, or here, or below. It is already where it should be. So what we would like to do, th please notice that um, if we actually played it now, the song, you cannot hear it very quickly, right? It just starts quite late. So what I really want to do is to chop the song. So what I will do, I will just start to play where I can see that the waves are very strong and I will remove the rest of the beginning of the song. So I select the song, I put the timeline where I'm actually interested to chop the song. I will go to um, the menu here on the clip and I will click on set start trim point, which means cut the beginning of the song at this point. I did. But as you can see now, we don't have a music lined up together with pictures. So what I will simply do, as computers easily do, drag the, vi the, the music here right to the left. And now if I play, I hope that the song will start sounding sooner. 
and it does and that's lovely and the pictures will be scrolling on my right I can see it quite nicely so I'll close it here, I'll stop it for a moment and you can see that we have the same problem here on the right the, the, the song goes on and on while our videos are stopping here, our pictures I'm sorry so what I will do, I'll select um, the song again take the timeline, drag it to the end point of the pictures I'll go back to the clip and this time I will set trim end point click it and it cut the song but what will happen next once we play the song it will be loud 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 and it sort of will get interrupted right so it's not very nice it's not a nice trick so what we will do now we will right click on the song and we will ask for a command fade out so we just did so if we were to play the whole video clip now right at the end the music should fade out and that was nice now in order to actually have this is at this very moment what we have created we have pictures here and we have a music here at this very moment it is called project and it's very very good to actually save project save project as this is because sometimes you may want to return to this project and make the, a different video add new things more pictures more photographs because as you can see you can actually take a picture and put between photographs you can take this one and put between here right so you can actually do some I will remove these things by pressing Control Z which is the undo button but you can actually add more things between different photos now so you, s you save a pic uh, s you save what you just created as a project and that will allow you to actually work on this project again and again and again and if you would like to save it as a video you simply go to save movie file you say yes you want to save it on the computer then you give it a name and you say where you would like to save it usually it takes you first to the uh, my videos I'll call it Anya which is my name because I don't want to save it as anything else and wipe off something else which, which I might actually have called movie or something now you cl cl click on next and it tells you would you like to save it at best quality you say yes and the computer starts saving a short video like this one will take probably seconds uh, larger videos will take might take minutes to save and once you save it the computer will use your um, default media player for instance real play or Windows Movie Maker and it will display to you the entire video I will show you how our video will look like in a so once you save the video it tells you it's finished you click on finished and it will now open the default media player and it will play it for us and of course we could make this video a bit more sophisticated with subtitles and different effects and this will be an object of other tutorials that I include on this page however this was just simply a very short introduction of how simple it is to make a video out of our digital pictures Okay.